going on everybody hope y'all are having a good one uh, mother's day was yesterday um on the off chance we got any mothers watching happy belated mother's day that's kind of what this particular video is about here so a while back i had given my mom uh my base camp that i had and uh, she went with me a couple times over to the indoor uh, crawler competition over in Greenville. And uh, that truck just wasn't quite uh, cutting it. it. Had a little bit of top heavy to it and wasn't, wasn't set up for really rock crawling. So I uh, went and got a some new parts and threw together a new body the just a whole new build here and uh i rushed through last minute and got this thing done um at least most of the way so i could present it to her for mother's day um this whole color scheme situation here kind of came about because of beat the creek uh, a little while ago um i finally at one of these events got my raffle number called and uh, went up and grabbed the package it was thoroughly bubble wrapped uh, so i couldn't see what it was until i got back to my chair and sat down opened it up and uh I got these pink wheels. Um, I can't remember. It was either the RC Chop Shop or the RC Junkyard uh, had donated these. Uh, they're brand new and they are very pink. So I knew that they was not going to go on anything that I've currently got. But I got home showed my mom she said that uh they'd look good on her truck so it's like well this is all coming together so we'll get uh get this truck thrown together and uh get it out and get some testing done on it here so that's what i did so this is the first test run i literally just painted the body yesterday that's uh, j concepts creep body and I decided to go ahead and try out the uh, dish soap method here. Didn't turn out exactly how I wanted, um, but she likes it and it's kind of growing on me, even though I'm not a pink kind of guy, um, it's, it's growing on me, but I think where I went wrong was with the uh, silver. It had way too much flake, glitter, metallic-y, whatever you want to call it. So the overspray kind of bled into the red and the pink and I don't know, just kind of made everything look a little weird. But not too shabby for my first go at it, I don't think um definitely got carried away in some spots and it kind of all blobbed up together but she likes it that's all that matters uh, i'll get this body popped off of here we'll run through what i got uh electronics and chassis wise and then we're going to take it for a run around the pit here and see how it does see what needs to be tweaked tuned um not expecting a whole lot out of these tires just right off the bat uh, these are some old high racks so i don't know how well they're gonna actually grab but i'm out here to see how the truck itself does and uh we'll get a better set of tires here down the road let's pop the body off and see what we got going on underneath all right so we've got a 
I think it was Enjora brand. If not, it was one of the other Amazon brand uh, LCG carbon fiber flat rail chassis. Um, I guess we'll start up here at the front. Obviously, I'm running the uh, base camp AR45 portals. Um, got some Amazon little pipe bumpers as well. Got a Flash Hobby 45 kg direct power servo. Um, Desert Lizard shocks. Uh, also um, got a Punks Custom 3D servo on axle mount as well as the Punks 3D uh, battery mount. I've got a 10 2 uh, axial 3 gear transmission, a uh, Hobby Wing Axe 2300 that came out of the Gen 8 that my mom also has, um, a homemade aluminum receiver box that's currently gooped up and wrapped up uh, for waterproof purposes. When it was still the base camp, I had taken it down to uh, Beat the Creek and then over to Axial Fest and whatnot. Needed that to be waterproof, and I have not opened that thing back up since. So it's still got a big, ugly receiver box, but it doesn't weigh anything. Not a big deal. Um, got high clearance links. Uh, that's kind of what's still up in the air at the moment. Uh, right now it's sitting at uh, I think a 12 8 wheelbase um, I just got another set of high clearance links for a 12 3 wheelbase so if this thing gets uh, high centered a lot uh, we may end up shortening the wheelbase back down to 12 3 uh, since this is uh, it's just a LCG. It does have a little bit of a angled skid, but it's not skid forward. So we'll see how the breakover angle goes. Uh, may still have to shorten the wheelbase a little bit. I'm not sure. Got some metal drive shafts. Um, I think that's it. May have a little bit of overdrive in the portals. I honestly cannot remember. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, right now, just running a little 2200 3S pack. Um, I've got this set up to where next time we do go back over to run the indoor comp, um, she'll be able to run class two or 2.5, uh, depending on what battery we throw in it. So, yeah, simple build, but it should be effective. Um, just got to get it out and see how it does. Um, probably have to do a little bit of suspension tuning. As of right now, it does not have any added weight. Um, <clears throat> I do have some short hex extensions on there they're brass but they don't weigh much at all um so we may end up having to get some portal covers at some point just to get a little bit of extra weight on the front end there and we'll see how the wheelbase situation plays out but overall it's definitely an upgrade over the stock base camp it should perform much better and this thing is super lightweight right now. It's lighter than any rig that I've got currently. So um, I think, especially once we get some better tires for it, uh, this thing should, should be quite the little line killer. I do have some dual stage foams in here. Um, so that's an upgrade over what it had previously as well. But 
like I said, this little test run is just to see how the truck itself handles more so than the grip. Um, I don't have much hope at all for these tires. But I guess that's enough rambling. Uh, get the body thread back on, get this thing powered back up. And we'll see how it goes. So something else that probably have to address. I'm assuming I'm probably going to end up having uh, some body rub here and there. If not from the tires, it'll be from obstacles because the body is still pretty well uncut. Um, so we may end up having to do a little bit of extra trim in there, but if you've been around, seen my videos before, you know, I like to leave as much of the body as possible, probably more so than most people. So I usually get out and run it a few times and only cut what I absolutely have to. may end up needing to uh, go up a couple teeth on the pinion as well. I know when I was putting this thing together, it, uh, it's pretty well maxed out as far as uh, adjustment goes. I couldn't put a smaller pinion on here if I wanted to. I don't remember what transmission or what truck this transmission was in previously. But, uh, definitely been, uh, been running the small pinions for a good while. May have been in the race. I'm not 100% sure. Back when it was, uh, set up to be a crawler. I'm going to tell you what, it's the first time I've, uh, run one of these flash hobby servos I don't know if it comes through on the video or if my ears are just sensitive to that pitch but I can hear like the highest pitch of a squeal coming from that thing it's like a damn dog whistle I'm sure quite a few people don't don't have that kind of sensitivity going on but sounds like when there's a TV on in the other room with no volume on you hear that real high pitched squeal damn near ear piercing seems to be doing pretty good though it's got a good bit of speed to it Work seems to be doing pretty good so far. Can't wait to get some better tires on here though. That's for sure. This will probably be where we start to see some body rub when we crest over this rock here. Not too bad. You could definitely use some more overdrive as well. too shabby it doesn't have the most articulation in the world which is good and bad but uh, it seems to be pretty stable and uh, predictable
may have to do something with the sliders. You can see that's what I'm getting hung up on there. They hang down a good bit. May have to make a set. Trim the body out a little bit and then make a set of slider sliders that come up a little bit higher. So far so good. Let's get into something a little harder. Probably won't spend much time on this section here. Um, the critters dug their holes back out again and I haven't plugged up the holes. So the further up the hill we get here, the, the more of the danger zone we end up in. Plus, I don't know if these tires are gonna have enough grip to do anything here or not. We'll see. So far, the suspension doesn't look like it's dropping out real hard. I don't have any shock bands or anything like that on here at all so that's a good sign i also don't have a uh, link riser in the back like i normally run as well and hung up on the front diff there this might be one where we have to use the line out to the right see how hard we get hung up on the rear oh yeah bellied out pretty bad and then the i don't know if you can see down in there that big rock grabs on the the links and then eventually on the axle if you make it that far like that right there Maneuver our way around that without sliding off. Just gonna have to go around. Which isn't surprising. Like I said, I don't have whole lot of hope with these tires on here they are old oh yeah didn't think about it when i was painting it but with that silver on here boy it makes for some really harsh glare out in the sunlight Okay, so here's a good spot. Oh, I came off of it. So the suspension is dropped out, but it's not uh, dropped out all the way. I'm really, Really surprised with how this thing's uh, handling so far. Went right up the midsection of hard line, no problem. I think if, uh, I hate standing this far back with a fresh body, I'd like to be there to catch it in case it falls. But I also don't wanna stand right there face to face with the critter hole i don't know if this thing stands a chance at the top of hard line here but we'll give it a quick shot try to stand over here where there's not so much glare coming off the top of that thing Ooh, it wants to grab
Dang. This thing is bouncy as hell. Not used to uh, a rig this light. They can feel how light it is driving it. Little bit of wheel speed try to get it up there don't mess around all day here all right now we're lifting oh yeah that's lifting real bad there so i think overdrive and a little bit of weight on the front end is definitely going to help may end up having to put some shock bands on the front of it as well which doesn't really bother me a whole lot anything anything that i usually send out to really try to crawl with it's always good to have that front end sucked down Yeah, this thing's just so light. I don't think we're gonna get up it with this particular setup. I don't know if I can get this to stick. Ooh. That's too risky. I don't want to send this thing down the hill on this first go. And it's not mine. So I'd hate to tear this thing up too bad before my mom even gets to drive it. <clears throat> so far, so good. Like I said it's the first, uh, first outing with this thing. So... I'm just kind of seeing what changes need to be made. I'll go over here and uh, hit this obstacle. This one here is a little less dangerous. There's no critter holes at face level over here. gotta say i'm really enjoying every time i throw some something new together and it comes out and actually handles pretty decent right off the bat especially with some of my frankenstein builds throwing parts together that weren't made to go together and random concoctions that actually come out and perform pretty decent see how it acts on the descent here oh yeah stable this kind of makes me want to go grab one of my sets of wheels and tires, the weighted crawlers or something, 
throw on here and see how it does. So this thing is more stable and planted than I thought it was going to be for its first trip out. Man, that glare off of that flaky silver. That'll blind you. Grabbing pretty good on that off camera transition there. sure that'll give the microphone a good crackle oh that thing's more stable on the descent down the slide than some of my trucks Didn't quite make it there. Front tire ended up on the other side of the slide. Wow. Walked right up that. That's got me curious. Since this thing's so lightweight, let's see how it does on uh, this real tough section over here. You've seen this particular climb in any of my videos before, you'll know that uh, this one here is no joke. I've got a lot of rigs that cannot make this, but I don't have any lightweight rigs. So, see if that makes any difference. Ooh, this thing is narrow. So there, stuff like this, unfortunately, I think is where I'm gonna have to trim some body. That's pretty rough. That's enough to actually get you hung up in some spots. So, yeah, I don't think that these tires are gonna have enough bite to do anything here. thing up here I think with some better tires I think it could pull this one pretty easily and that's saying something so with this long of a wheelbase and this low of a belly I don't know what kind of a chance it's got against this particular crazy off camber transition here but I've got to try There's not much to this spot here, but boy, you gotta have your stuff together to get this one. We're hung up on the slider on the passenger side. Oh. And back on the sliders again. So I definitely think I need to do something about that. 
because they dig in hard. Things definitely got the stability working for it, that's for sure. So we'll see how it does on the spiral staircase here and we'll go ahead and end this thing off right where we started. Some over overdrive is definitely gonna help this thing out quite a bit. Although it might might be able to make the turn without having to back up. Oh yeah! Wow, that was a real smooth climb there. Slider hanging up again. Definitely got to do something about that. That's going to end up being a problem for her. Well. I'd say all in all, that was a very successful run. I'm pretty proud of how this thing is uh, performing so far. Got a few things to change. Definitely need some better tires. Get some overdrive in that front axle and a little bit of weight on that front axle. Get a new set of some higher clearance sliders and uh, trim the body up a little bit more and I think this thing's gonna be quite the little line killer like I said earlier uh, even as is right now with its current setup worlds better than what it was as the base camp so I think we gotta I think we got to come up with a name for this thing. I think it's well on its way to uh, earning that. So I don't know. I kind of thinking with the color scheme that this thing's got going on, it's not actually black that's in there. I doubt there's anywhere I'm going to be able to show with the camera a good angle to get the correct color on it, but. It's actually uh, uh, something oily bronze. I can't remember what it was called, but it's almost a chocolate color. It's not quite a dark chocolate, but it's pretty close. And then uh, some red and some pink. So, uh, I don't know why, but the first couple things that popped in my head was like some velvet cake and some rocky road ice cream kind of something or other i'm kind of thinking of call this thing rocky rose so i don't know let me know what you think ultimately that's gonna that's gonna be up to mom what she wants to call it but i've been kind of leaning towards rocky rose 
we'll see how it goes. Regardless, I'm happy with it so far. And uh, we'll get some tinkering done and improve this thing even more. So let me know what y'all think down in the comments about this particular build. Uh, even though it's not for me, I'm sure you'll still see it from time to time on here. And uh, especially once we get some improvements going, I'll definitely make some more videos with it. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you all have a good one. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Later.